So it looks like I've got a little bit of an audience today. Hey guys, I'm Evan. Welcome to Country View Acres. So the first thing I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna set up some temporary electric fence. I'd like to get these steers out on some fresh grass in an area where there's actually no fencing at all. So I'm gonna be putting in some fiberglass posts everywhere the fence turns and I think that's gonna help make everything more rigid. And then I'm gonna have some step-in posts in between, just running a single wire of electric braid. And hopefully this is gonna keep the steers in and hopefully I don't end up chasing them today, trying to get them back inside. All right, fence is on. It's pretty much too tall to get in and out of. Let's see if I can dip it down enough to get over. All right, boys, you ready to get out on some fresh grass? Well, they're either gonna be very leery or they're gonna be so excited that they start bouncing around and running around real quick. Let's see what happens. I don't want them to go charging through the fence. Well, good deal, they're taking it slow. There's a bunch of clover right here. They want that clover, don't you? Well, I'm glad these guys didn't charge out of the gate and just come running out here to check this out. So they're, they're fairly calm until right then. Now they're running. But hopefully they see that wire and don't charge through it. And uh, they'll all stay within the fence. That's the, this is the big test. First time on electric fence without any other perimeter fence to keep them in. So hopefully they stay in here and they get some fresh grass. But I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next project. So I think I can just move this handle and get in and out on this side a lot easier. So this white pole barn is gonna turn into a livestock barn. And what I wanna do today is I wanna start building a fence off of the corner of this pole barn and we're gonna build it out and across over to this pasture fence to close in this side. And this is gonna be the beginnings of a corral that's gonna go around this, this barn. So I need to go grab the tractor and a post hole digger and we're going to go ahead and start seeing if the ground is soft enough where we can actually drill some posts. So there is about six inches of gravel here and it's on top of fabric. So I think that's going to add a, another level of difficulty to getting these posts in the ground. All right, there we go fabrics out. It's actually a fairly straight hole. So since this is going to be a corral, I'm probably going to shoot for about a five foot tall fence. And um, I may have ended up drilling this a little bit deep, but it's fairly straight and it drilled fairly easy for the first one. Let's hope the rest is the same. I'm trying to make this post as close to the barn as we can. That way it can't have an animal squeeze in between. Try to do this without putting a bunch of rocks in there. packing really good too. Like it really firmed up. Gravel's definitely thicker right here than it was next to the building. So I'm gonna cut this fabric out of here. All right, does that look like a circle? So I came out just far enough to uh, line up with a post over there on a pasture fence. I'm gonna have to put some dirt back in. That was definitely deep enough. Let's see if you trek your top again. Hopefully it'll reach.
All right, we got all of our fence posts put in place last night, and we also made a trip to the store. We ended up picking up this 18-foot uh, bull gate, and this is called a bull gate because it's just uh, bigger tubing, thicker tubing. It's just a heavier gate. Um, so I figured the stronger the gate, since this is going to be a corral area, that I needed to buy stronger gates for that. And then I also have, um, I got a load of two by eights. So this two by eight lumber is gonna go on this, this side over here and do like a four board fence. And um, that's how we're gonna cover it up. We're not gonna try to string some type of fencing or stock panel, we're just gonna put boards up and call it good for now. So the steers stayed inside the electric fence all night long and they didn't get out. They respected the wire. In fact, they didn't even come up to, we went to try to feed them last night and they didn't even come up for the feed. They just wanted to stay back here and eat the grass. So um, they're definitely enjoying this new area. So that 18 foot bull gate, it is gonna go between these two posts right here and that's gonna give me plenty of room to get in with the tractor and get in and turn and, and get into the barn as well. And it'll be hanging on this post and it's a heavy fence or it's a heavy gate. So what I want to do is I'm going to build a brace right here to, to tie these two posts together, make it stronger to be able to hold the weight of, of that bull gate. Long thread. So we got this gate sitting on some boards here on the end to help kind of hold it level. And now we'll go ahead and set our hinges so it's exactly where we want it to be. Tighten our hinges up. does work. If this end was much lower, it'd be scraping the ground over. I know. It's pretty, pretty close on that side there. It hit the ground right there. Yeah. All right, we got our gate hung here. And now I think we're ready to start putting on our two by eights to make a four board fence. And I am gonna put it on this section right here. You're probably wondering why I would, why I would put some brace wire on here if I'm gonna go ahead and put boards down it. And that's because the boards are gonna be screwed and I don't want the screws to take that stress. So that's why I got this, this brace wire on here to help hold that post and hold up the gate. So it should have all of the weight on the, the brace wire, hopefully. But we're gonna go ahead and start cutting our boards, start getting this side covered up and start getting that side down there covered up. And then this section here should be done.
that's the pretty side. All right, I think this side of the corral is pretty well finished up. I think it turned out pretty good. So the next thing I want to do real quick is there's some old used oil pipe right here. And I want to go ahead and pick this up with the tractor and get this moved over there with the rest of the pipe because we'll probably go ahead and take this fence and we'll adjust it and we'll let the, the steers into this area since we now have a fence over here. I just don't want them to step on this oil pipe and falling down and getting hurt. All right, so this is what the fence looks like from the outside. I don't think it looks too bad. I mean, the boards are on the inside because that's the side they're gonna push against. So the posts are sticking out of the ground six feet, five feet, five feet tall. These are two by eights. And there ends up being just a, actually a little bit of a bigger gap than what the board width is. So I'm not sure if I really like this. Um, this is like a four board fence, five foot tall. I think if I was gonna do this again, this is um, this is big enough that I think feel like a sheep or, or uh, small animals could crawl through that. So I'm probably gonna to have to put a stock panel on the back side of this to keep the small animals in. So I think if I did this again, I'd probably do five boards. Probably do like a five board fence. Other than that, I think I'm pretty happy with the way this all turned out. We offset this gate out enough where we can turn the tractor and get in the barn and then there's going to be another one of these gates back over there leading out into the big pasture so that i can open both of them and drive the tractor straight out to the big pasture so this gate is also not made for small animals so we're going to have to end up ta attaching some type of fencing on here so that we can keep in the sheep and run them in this area i just needed a stronger gate and th this is the only way you can really buy one so I will end up putting some type of fencing on here to close it in as well. So right here is the gate that swings open so that they can enter the corral. And with this open, it just, it just swings out into nothing. You know, there's nothing for it to swing against. We're gonna go ahead and adjust, redo this gate real quick. And we're gonna have it so it swings inward instead and can lay against this fence here and be out of the way. These gates here are nice for the small livestock, but I'm finding out very quickly that they're actually not very sturdy and um, they get bent up fairly easily and not really a great choice for cattle, that's for sure. Can you lift? There we go. So we'll come back on a different day and we'll end up taking the tractor bucket. We'll scrape this down right here, try to get it to where this gate swings and where we can latch it properly. And we'll try to pop some of these stumps out of the ground as well. But as far as today is concerned, I think we're done. So everything's open up back here for the steers. We readjusted, I'm about to fall down. We readjusted our hot wire so it's not in the way right here. So they can actually get all the way over to the gate and in this area so I think we are done now the next thing to do is I might have to come back to this side and I gotta start working this fence line down this direction and some of this is gonna be the welded pipe along this side so that'll be in a different video so the reason we did this side in wooden posts and boards is because I, I wasn't quite for sure what I wanted for sure over here um, so if I don't end up liking this, we can easily take it back apart and reuse the material to build another fence. So I didn't want to go ahead and weld something up on this side if I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted. The other side, I think I'm, I'm very confident, I think, what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and weld the pipe on the other side of the corral when we do that. But um, right now, the way this is looking, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. So if you guys watched the video where I discussed turning this into a livestock barn 
The original plan, I was only gonna use half of this barn for livestock barn, half for hay storage. I've come to the realization that this barn is not big enough and I need to use the whole thing for livestock. So this, this whole barn is gonna be used um, to have a few pins in it so we can pin some animals up. It's gonna have the bud box in there and it's gonna have the Lakeland Farm and Ranch head chute in there so that we can work cattle through this barn and be able to give them shots and stuff. But we're gonna end up using the entire thing as a livestock barn. And eventually this whole end right here will just open up and this will be open-ended on this side um, because the cattle chute's gonna probably be about right in the middle and, and come out. Anyway guys, I think that's it for this video. So I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.